The cast is big. There's a lot of characters in the book. Principal cast have been on board for some time. Michelle Williams was first aboard the project, and um, Kristen Scott Thomas have been with the project some time as well. Madame Angelia, I'm Oberleutnant Bruno von Falk. You have been told to expect me? Matthias came a little later. We had an amazing list of people, everyone from Lambert Wilson, with an impeccable English accent, Sam Riley, Ruth Wilson. You, you were a stop here, right? Yeah. Michelle Williams, for me, is just a, such a superb actress, and I wanted somebody who would be able to convey in very subtle ways what it's like to live in a kind of oppressed state, but be able to show that in subtle ways. Can I carry those back for you? I'm going that way anyway. You say no thank you. Madame Angelier is a landowner, lives in the village, and um, she thinks quite highly of herself. She's very tough. I'm damned if I'm living by German time. I'd always felt when I read the book that she was the best Madame Angelier I could possibly have, and that somebody who would bring nuances and levels of empathy to a very seemingly tough character. So by the end, you actually care deeply about this person you thought was pretty mean to begin with. And of course, she's the host to the character played by Matthias, who's the German officer who's been billeted to their house. Madame? May I kindly request the key to the piano and the desk? I give you my word that they'll be treated with the utmost care. Marthe will give you the key. Good evening. Bruno was raised in a military family, so his brothers are soldiers. His dad was one. But deep down inside, he's an artist. He's a composer. That's where his heart and soul is. But then the war is there, and then he needs to do his duty. Richten! I play Amaury de Montmort, the Viscount of Bussy. Not a bad guy, per se. He's trying to keep his dignity, trying to keep the people together in his village. Vicontes? Excuse me. Your wife and children were in church yesterday. Where were you? Working. Not that you know anything about her. What the film is about is, is how people behave under pressure. Um, and people behave, all the people in there behave very, very differently. So the Viscount may have gone ostensibly for the path of least resistance, collaboration. Wie sagt man Bestechung auf Französisch, Monet? Oh, es wäre mir lieber, wenn Sie es als Geschenk betrachten würden. And Benoit's the polar opposite. He's somebody who already who sets out to try and fight against these people in whichever small and slightly powerless way he can to begin with. And action! Next to name, occupation, address. Benoit Laverne, farmer. The one more stack. Next. My character is Benoit uh, Laverne. Uh, he's a, a farmer. And he's st struggling to eke out a, a living. He's lame in his left leg, which prohibited him from fighting the Germans on the front. And that's a big. <clears throat> frustration in his life that he couldn't serve his country and there's a Nazi officer who's billeted in their house who's always flirting with his wife and pushing his buttons. Beautiful scent. Perhaps I could buy a bouquet for my bedroom, cheer it up a little. Madeleine. I play Madeleine Labarie. She's married to Benoit. 
And throughout the course of the film, you see my relationship with the Nazis, but also the Nazi comes and lives with us. So it's kind of we're the victims of the Nazis, really, and their oppression. But also, it's we kind of illustrate the social strata in, the, in at that time in France as well, uh, and we've been the lowest of the low. We were really privileged to have such amazing people who sort of wanted to work with each other, and many of them had read the book and felt some sort of personal connection to the material. So this shot can help. call our own. So I ask you 